Right right. right. Yes, y'all. Y'all know what it is. It's T-Man brought to you live. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, back again. I got to tell you, I have, I have something, I, I have something I thought about, something I wanted to talk about. You know, maybe some people need to hear it. You know, it's a general statement. I have a whole lot I can speak in general through my life experience from what I be hearing, conversations I have with some people. And all right. This is this is for some people, you know. All right, let me get to the point. Look, I don't have nothing against nobody. It don't matter if you're straight, gay, bi, bi, trans man, trans woman, trans whatever, queers. I don't have nothing against nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't have nothing against no soul. I get along with everybody. You cool with me? I'm cool with you. You know what I'm saying? But don't be on no, don't be on no nonsense neither, because I don't feel I don't like negative energy. It's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? All right, okay. Some people, you know, some people like yeah. I'm just gonna talk. I'm not saying all. I'm gonna say some. All right, for some of you trans females, I know how some of you say. Some of you, some of you trans, some of you trans women get with a guy that's cool, calm, collective, sweet, kind hearted. Just say you met a guy that's cool, calm, collective sweet and kind and treat you like the queen that you are i'm saying that with respect okay i'm just talking from my experience um, from the conversations i had right and speaking in general it's a topic okay you could come across a good man that would treat you like a queen but the thing about it is he is what if that man has family members that they don't get along if they mention anything about lgbtqia community it's like if that man know he's gay, whatever, or he like he like whatever you want to call yourself, he likes trans women, whatever. And some of you trans women say, "Oh, but I want to meet his family. I don't want to feel like I, I, you know." Some of the trans women may say, "I don't want to feel like I'm a secret." What if you met a good man that would treat you like the queen that you are, but he cannot introduce you to his family members because his family members do not like people that are. Just say, for example. Some you can meet a guy, but his family members or friends don't like people that's in the LGBTQIA. What if they really have something against them? Don't think that he's keeping you as a secret. Don't think that. He could have family members or peoples all around his family don't like people from the LGBT at all. And you then you be anxious to be like I want to meet the family I want to meet the family I want to meet his friends I want to meet his well you know and next thing I, but don't be so quick to say you want to meet the family members because what if you meet the family members and next thing I know bang they don't like nothing about you they start bad mouthing you they start having a whole lot of negativity to say because just speaking in general just you know <clears throat> You can't always be quick to say, hey, I want to meet that. I want to meet the mates, family members. Some family members are very picky and some of them, you have some, you can't meet none of the family members at all. I'm going to tell you something. And I'm not talking one sided because it goes all around the board on it. What, no matter what gender. Sometime in life, don't ask to meet the family members of that mate that you're dealing with. Sometime in life, do not ask to meet the friends neither. So just deal with that person straight on. As long as that person is treating you good, that's all that matters. Sometimes it don't pay to ask. Sometimes it's best not to meet the family members. Sometimes it's best to just be, as long as you and that person is happy. You have some time in life, you just have to focus on both of you. As long as you and that person is happy. You know what I'm saying? That's sometime in life you don't ask to meet the family members. Some no what that don't mean you're being kept a secret. Because there's situations where you thinking that person is keeping you as a secret, and really they not. They have family members that you cannot meet not one bit. Have you ever thought maybe it's not meant for you to meet that mate's family members, period? At all? Have you ever thought maybe it's not meant for you to Never in life meet their family members. Maybe it's just meant for you and that person to be happy with each other. And that's it. If you truly, truly, deeply, severely love each other. Then it shouldn't matter. 
about meeting the family. Maybe it's not meant to meet the mate's family member at all. Maybe it's not meant to meet the mate's friends or associates. I'm speaking all around the board as much as possible. If I forgot something out of my statement, forgive me. I'm just speaking in general of something that, you know, some conversations I had with with some people before. Like, how come I can't meet the mate's family member? How come you can't meet the mate's friends? That mate, that mate could be the good one for you. They'll treat you quiet. They'll t- treat you kind and all. You know. But some things. That's why some things in life is best not to ask one to meet that mate's family members. And another thing too. Sometimes the mate. The mate's family members could pick up on things in a matter of seconds or minutes or a couple of hours or a couple of days about the person you're dealing with. They could say, I don't like that person. And majority or percentage of the time, the family member could be right. <laughs> Most percentage, especially down to the parents. Some parents could be right about that mate. The parents could easily pick up on something that the child don't see. But... You know, sometime in life is it don't it's ever meant is sometime in life it makes no sense to ask that person to meet the family member. There's times in life don't ask. There's times in life don't do that. That don't mean they're cheating on you. Because you have a good person and you get say if you get mad because you can't meet the mate's family members, especially if the mate told you from the beginning how the mate's family are and how they act and how they carry themselves. You see what I'm saying? And how they go about things. On certain subjects, some family members don't get along with that mate on certain subjects. Don't think I'm speaking wrong. No, I'm not crazy. Nothing is nothing wrong with me with what I'm saying. No, I'm not saying anything wrong. I'm just speaking things in general. Because my life story, man, I, I could speak a whole lot of things from, from conversations I have with people. Stuff I experienced and some people I've came across, you know, I have a whole lot I can say on that, but, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to <clears throat> what I was just saying, especially people in the LGBTQ, even if you're not in the LGBTQ, sometime in life, it makes no sense to ask that person when you can meet that mate's family, especially if you have a good mate that's treating you very wonderful. And then you get upset because you're going to assume that mate is hiding something from you, especially if that mate told you everything from the beginning. You see, there's times in life it makes no sense to ask when you can meet the mate's family members or friends or associates. Sometime in life, don't ask that question. That don't mean they're cheating on you. The main thing is if you know from the beginning, if that mate told you, Look, my family members and I don't get along on that subject about gays or lesbians or bisexuals or trans or even certain type of people, even if you're not in the LGBTQ, different other communities. Sometime in life, it don't make no sense to ask the mate when you can meet the family. Sometimes it makes no sense to ask that. Especially if they told you, oh, my friends don't like LGBTQ or my friends or family don't like such and such. Because when you be, oh, when can I meet him? When can I meet him? When can I meet your family? And then when you meet the family and you get your feelings hurt, then you go say in the back of your mind, damn, I shouldn't have asked. This person is treating me wonderful. Or, damn, I shouldn't even ask to meet the friends of that mate. The main thing is you're, if you're being treated kindly and wonderful, <clears throat> don't assume you're being kept a secret. Don't assume that. For those who are in the LGBTQIA, and even if you're not in the community or in the community, I'm just speaking on both sides. People, look, don't get me wrong for saying it. I'm just speaking a point on something. Sometime in life, it makes no sense to ask certain questions in life. Because some questions in life, you would never get an answer to. You know, but please take the time to understand 
and listen to what I'm saying. Because some people don't take the time to understand. They don't take the time to think. So just take the time to understand what I'm saying, people. All right? But anyway, just want to say a little something on that. Tell me what you think. All right? Peace. One.